we're going to talk about the most important skill in network marketing. There's no more important skill than this skill. If you're in the room, congratulations. But for most of the people watching this, you're going to be watching from home. You're going to be watching from your phone, from your computer, from your tablet, whatever you're watching from. Um, maybe this is in the future. You're watching it as a hologram in the middle of your living room. We don't know <laughs> where you're going to be watching this from. But, I, but I've got to tell you that unless you figure this skill out, you're done. You might as well not even do this. Because this, the reason why we call this the gateway skill is because if you don't go through this door, you don't get anything. It's over. All you get to be is a customer. All you get to be is a user of product. Now, there's different skills. We talk about the seven skills when we talk about, if you've read the book GoPro, how many people read the book GoPro? Listen to the audio book. A lot of people in that network marketing profession makes me very happy. We talk about these skills, and the seven fundamental skills in network marketing are finding prospects, inviting. This is what we're talking about here. This gateway skill is inviting, getting people to take a look. Presenting, following up, closing, getting people to make a decision, getting people started effectively, and promoting events. Now, <clears throat> there's one p skill that's the highest paid skill in all of network marketing. That's promoting events. If you get people to attend a big event, your company big event, you can't get paid more for any activity than that activity. But that activity is on the other side of this gateway that I'm going to talk about in this course. you got to get to the other side. You've got to be able to be strong enough, face your fears enough, become skilled enough, become confident enough to face this one. And most people, I'll be honest with you, if you take 100 people who join network marketing, 70 of them immediately will say, you know what, I'm just going to be a customer because they don't want to go through this first door making this invitation. They take a tiptoe towards it, and then they go, oh, maybe it's not for me. I'll just keep using the product for a while. Seven out of 10. They say, you know, they'll just use the product. And I'm glad they're using the product. I'm happy they're using the product. I'm happy they're getting benefit from the products and services that you provide. But wouldn't it be better to be in that small percentage? It takes so little for you to separate yourself from the crowd. In network marketing, it takes so little. To step through this first door, you do it in your first day of any real job. But when you join this business, all of a sudden, every little childhood fear that you've ever had shows up. Every phobia, every excuse. We're, we're downright creative as to all the reasons why we can avoid doing what we know we're supposed to do. We're creative at it. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. I'm not so sure. This course is dedicated to setting appointments. It's dedicating to getting people to take a look. We have other courses on presenting, on follow-up, objections, closing. But this course is designed specifically to get people to take a look at what you have to offer. And here's the great news about that. I know if we can get people to take a look, we're going to get good results. Even if we're not very good at, it, at, at the actual presentation, it doesn't even really matter. You don't have to be amazing. You just have to be busy. You have to be active in order to be able to get results in this business. This is the gateway. And understand, it's okay to start off not highly skilled and to become highly skilled over time. That's okay. You don't have to be amazing when you start. It was such good news for me as a poor student growing up in formal education. It was such good news to me that I didn't have to be skilled before I could get started. It was such good news to me to know that I couldn't get fired. 
It was such good news that I could fail and screw up, and I have unlimited swings at the bat. And here's what it was like what I, when I realized this. I'm not a great athlete, but if I stood over the plate and the best pitcher in baseball was pitching, I'm going to miss a lot. But if I get unlimited swings, I'm going to hit something. Something's going to happen. I'm going to get on base. I'm going to get some results. If I have unlimited swings, eventually he's going to get tired. He's going to throw a nice easy one. Bang. Same thing's true with you. Be willing to start. Be willing to be embarrassed. Be willing to take the swings in order to figure it out. If you're willing to do that, then you're good. If you're not willing to do that, then I can't help you. 